Maybe. Uh, how do I? How do I live? Yep. Okay. Good mic's working. That's all I needed to know. So much easier to check through the desktop map. Test. Okay. Here we go. Uh oh. Okay. That's weird because we're we're broadcasting. Uh, I think that their server must be down. The Death Stranding server. It just means we won't get any help from online. Yeah, yeah we're still streaming. Live. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely still streaming. Uh, how's our stream health looking? Streaming at three point four kilobits. I wonder what bit rate they use. Girl version 2, thank you for the follow. Oh, resume game. I forgot. It, wait, it waits for you to hit the button. Oh yeah, we were like wearing our glasses and stuff. Oh yeah. <clears throat> I'm not, I'm not. I'm not. Let's go look at BB. We get the thumbs up from BB. BB's so cute. How did you? Oh yeah, you can zoom in. And you can. You can tap it. You okay? He be sleeping. Alright, so I was thinking about this the other day. They give you this mechanic in game. He, uh, he says, no, don't leave the room. Okay. What? Look at the activate the terminal? Okay. Gotta, gotta do what he says. Open menu. Do you orders? I don't have any orders. Yeah, there's there's nothing. It's probably because I'm in offline mode for whatever reason. Let's uh, uh let's exit the game really quick. And no, I'm not gonna totally kill it. I'm just gonna try to. Go internet, go. Alright, let's go system. Login? I could try to log in from here. Login completed. Okay, so are we online now? 
We might we might be online now. Yeah, we're online. Okay. Yeah, it's weird. Data. Tips and tricks, interviews and logs. Alright, well, just nothing there yet. I leave and somebody comes in. I see how it works. And we're just sitting there like a zombie. Well, have you had a chance to think it over? Chalk full of Chirelium, but safe for you Dooms guys to wear. That's all you'll need to go forth and reconnect the world. To make us whole again. Chalk full of Chirelium. I don't care about connecting anything. Or making knots. But I'll do what I have to, to help Amelie out. Okay. So it must be what's inside them water bears and stuff. But yeah, I was thinking, they give you this mechanic where if you die, you create a crater in the world. What if somebody just Listen wanted up, to create as many craters as they could? Families people and just built in the towns and cities they pass through on their journey west are called knots. The infrastructure's there, but the Cairo network is offline. Oh, right now it's only haircut. capable of transmitting voice communications, sometimes wired, sometimes wireless, and a small amount of data. So, unless the necessary data stored on site, our chirograms won't show up. Emily and the other Bridges members you've seen around the place are grams generated with local data. In case you didn't know. Anyway, all you've got to do is find the knot, connect your cupid, and bring Cairo communications online. Once you connect it to the terminal, you'll be able to initiate zero-time massive data transmission with the UCA network. And just like that, you'll reconnect us not only to each other, but to our past. Yeah, it's a weird rope. All the lost and fragmented junk data will be compiled and restored. Like bringing a dinosaur back being to in. life from a fossil. Four point six billion years of history on Earth. All the wisdom and knowledge we lost since the Death Stranding will be ours again. And that, my friend, is how we'll beat this thing. Once you establish Cairo communications, generating grams won't be an issue. You'll also be able to use Cairo printers. Won't be long before we're able to send all kinds of things through the wire. Except anything original. Or that's got a soul. Nothing real. Just copies. True. Which is why we'll still need porters like you. Huh. Weird. Before and after we're made whole, we'll need men in the middle. No rest for the wicked, huh? Money don't grow on trees. Yeah, well, or maybe I don't it does here. All that. We'll give you the details at the dispatch terminal. Make sure you check it upstairs. Drops waiting up there too. These shoes look like they've done some serious miles. Shall I dispose of them? Wait. Hold on. There's something I want you to look into. My blood seemed to set those things off. Happened more than once. Set them off? How do you mean? I don't know. You took my blood, didn't you? You tell me. All right. I'll see what I can do. Hmm. I don't know. So yeah, what happens to us when we die? That's all I know. 
we get sucked into a pool of guck and turn into a crater. Yeah, that's why they never showed us returning. Like, how do we return? New order to not city, head west. They have like big warehouses of stuff. So yeah, I was wondering if anybody's gonna do like a playthrough where they just try to die every chance they get to just create like massive craters in the world and like destruction everywhere. Sam, this is Die Hardman. Your current objective is to extend the Cairo network from here to Portland City. But don't think you can make a beeline straight for it. Signal won't carry that far. To cover the distance, we need to utilize knots. Think of it like tying ropes together to make a longer rope. The first of these knots is a bridge's way station. Go ahead and take a look at the order. Deliver whatever they need and connect the cupid. Take orders, make deliveries, private locker. Place items into or remove from private locker. Rest in private room. Retire to your quarters for some downtime. Okay. Uh, take orders, I guess. Orders from Sam. Available. West. Okay. Their menu system isn't that easy. Sam. Order summaries may contain information critical to your success. Make sure to review them before getting underway. The amount of cargo... Okay. Uh, capital not city. Deliver smart drugs. Okay. Greater... Or George Baton. Cargo condition less than fifty percent damage. The focus of the delivery on on the condition of cargo deliver in the best condition possible. Okay. Objective deliver smart drugs. Cargo for delivery. Smart drugs. Oxytoxin. Provides brain with uh Oxytocin and other hormones are effective. Uh, easing symptoms arise from having interpersonal contact. It's stress and affection for others. Like numb? Uh, I guess, yeah. 
What's this? Ladder, climbing anchor, supplies. Are I delivering supplies or do I get those supplies? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to damage cargo too much. Uh, sure. The last void out in Central Knot City brought deliveries to a standstill. Until now. Your cargo for this run is a batch of smart drugs. Oxytocin, to be precise. Oxytocin is effective at reducing stress, so much so that some folks call it a love or happy hormone. Once you've completed the job, connect the way station to the network using the Cupid. Okie doke. Uh, attach the suit, attach to hand, carrying hands, offload. Carry him back. Okay. Where's it attached to suit? Oh, like around my neck. And that puts it there. Where's it attaching it to my suit put it? Uh, over there. Carry by hand. Attaching cargo to your suit, preventing from falling off, should should you stumble or fall. Okay, that sounds good. Attach it to my leg. Sure. Sam, we've supplied you with some rope and a ladder for this run. They should help with the steeper inclines, and the ladder will also make a halfway decent bridge if you need to cross a river. Right now, I figure you're thinking about how you want to handle this order. Okay. Hang on tool rack. Attached back. See, this is so weird, like, I don't know what's best. <laughs> uh, we'll attach that to suit too. And we'll put that on our other hip. Yeah, sure. That way we're balanced. Do, oh, do we have two? We have five ladders? Mm. Sure. Yeah, what happens if you offload it? I don't know. And we'll we'll attach it this one to our tool rack. Fuck it. All right. Uh, oh. Uh, we can.
carry on back, hang on to it. Yeah, I was gonna hang on to it, confirm. Oh, you can auto assign cargo. Sure, let's see what auto assign cargo. how it auto arranged my cargo. Sure. Let's go with that then. Similar to how I had it. Order assigned. <laughs> it's so silly. I saw vehicles out there, like... Beginning scan. Have a pleasant journey. Sam. Triple checked your loadout, I take it? Uh... What did I just do? Climbing anchor. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, so that's how you get to your gear. Urinate. Huh? Hey, that's right. Let's go urinate. Hey, they're waving to me. Who are you people? Well, they're just holograms. Uh, part of the United Cities of America. <laughs> yep. America will be great again. Oh, this is... Parking spot. Any vehicles around there? All right, we need to plan our trip. So our goal is through there. That's it. Didn't look too bad. There's vehicles right here. Oh, it says, it says no. It says no locked. No locked. Wait, you know what I have to say about your locked vehicles? It won't let me. What does it 
say. Be considerate and relieve yourself away from other people and property. Oh. Yeah, well, let me well let me pee here either. I tried, guys. Have a pleasant journey. Sam, you see that sign someone left over there? You can leave the some of your own if you'd like. Messages, warnings, words of encouragement. Oh, here. Whatever comes to mind. Oh, let me make sure we're still streaming. Here. Stream health looks good. Where is activity feed? Uh, video preview. Hold on. Yeah, we're still up and a running. All right, let's see what's going on. Today's a good day. Lost cargo. So somebody lost some cargo trying to get across this water. Leave. Okay. We can go up higher. are tagged with Bridges IDs for easy tracking. And your Ojo deck is equipped with a scanner which might detect said IDs. Which is a roundabout way of saying, but that thing on your shoulder can help you locate mislaid shipments. Every parcel. 
parcel is a promise made to a person in need. And they're counting on you to deliver. Of course. Camel City Knot. Is that where I'm headed? Capital City Knot. So they want me to deliver that stuff back. I don't know, I guess I can go to any Capital City Knot. yellow here. Alright. Okay. A lot of extra shit people dropped over here. I just realized something that I love that um, the urinate option is under equipment menu. <laughs> you gotta you gotta pull out your equipment. <laughs> I'm just trying to see how long it will let me pee. Oh, there it goes. Jeez. I don't know. A mushroom grew. That is weird. Yeah. It, I can't do anything with it. Maybe it's just a mark that you peed here? on the map. Eh, it's all kind of within the same area. Let me see something. Yeah, that mountain looks pretty steep. I don't really see a way to get through it. All right.
loaded down with stuff. Yeah. Yeah, no. We can do a little bit of yellow. As long as we take it slow. What is that thing? Not sure what this thing is. Grab what now, huh? Straps, yeah. Thank you. You have reached a uh, marker. This is one of those things. Yeah. Nick Edel Ediston. Um, activate terminal. I don't know. Okay. Private locker. Good work, Sam. I see you brought in some lost cargo. Feel free to submit it here for processing. If you come across any more while out on a run and don't think you can carry it to its destination, you can always put it in storage. It'll be safe and secure until another porter comes along to finish the job. Mm. Even if it has to pass through a dozen more hands before it arrives, Hmm. You can rest easy knowing you did your part. So, if you're light on cargo, you can pick up extra cargo here potentially. Or I could just take it to the city. Because if you think you're not going to find anything else along the way. Like, does that get you out a little bit? I don't know. Should we try it? What's the worst app is one cargo? Yeah, screw it. Trusting and continuing the delivery of lost cargo. If lost cargo is taken to a facility other than the attendant destination, the following options can be selected. In trust delivery, submit the cargo at the facility and trust its delivery for another player. Don't entrust. Do not submit the cargo. Keep it in your person in order to deliver it yourself. Okay, so you can pick and choose if you want. So like I, I if I say if I'm hedging my bets I could be like eh, maybe I'll put like half of this shit in here for somebody else to try to deliver and I'll take the rest try to take the rest rest with me but now nah, I'll, I'll just take it all someone's happy. This is structure menu. Does that mean down? Hmm. Uh. There's a bunch of lost cargo.
I'm Uber delivery service. I'm not going to get this one because it looks too risky to climb up. I could probably do it with a ladder. You know what? Fuck it. I got five, I got five ladders. Let's see how you use a ladder. I'll go around this way. Maybe somebody will like my ladder. Equipment, um, ladder. Uh, is that oh? Oh, there you go. Uh, adjust location with L2. might place that in somebody else's world and they might like it and use it. Oh, you can dismantle that. Eh? back on course. Thanks for the help. Give this thing a like. thing could be be, be. I'm curious uh -oh. Sam remember that prolonged exposure to time fall damages cargo don't stay out in the rain any longer than you have to. Okay. I didn't realize it was raining.
following this line. What's that red line? That's what I can get. Line, say. My breath. intense. I need to get past this guy.
yep, 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 yep. Uh, I know I'm almost out of breath. out of the rain now. Wait, should I use a ladder to cross this thing? Yeah, we'll risk it. Bad area? I can't tell. Oh shit. Easy, Sam. You're clear of BG territory. Okay. The Death Stranding's to blame for all of this. The gazers, the fall of America, everything. It warped the world beyond recognition. Humanity had to scramble like rats fleeing a sinking ship. But there's nowhere else to go. There's no future living like this. If we're to survive, Cool story, bro. Too far. Hmm, maybe I'll cross up there, it looks like. there. We're wading through. I don't know what else to do. I did that, like I wasn't moving. I guess the ground was slippery, I don't know.
Engine scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Cargo verified. Thank you. All right, though. Make delivery. Delivery. Central Knot City. No one seemed to know what it meant for the organization, or the UCA, or us. The oxytocin will take the edge off, and that'll be a big help. Won't be long before we're back on track. We may have a luck. <laughs> this is great. Thank you again. Yeah, everything looks to be in good order. And soon our way station will be too, I hope. Second team, right? Where are the others? Dead. Caught in the void out. Dead. No, caught in the void that out. That one blast got them all? And what, they just sent you out on your own? I mean, yeah. if it was just a delivery, that'd be one thing. Porters come through from time to time, but the second team was meant to bring the Cupid. They were going to connect us up. Three years we've been waiting for help. Three years. And they sent us one guy who. Shit, shit, shit. Tell me you brought more than the Oxy, at least. I've got the Cupid. You... Really? So it's true. They finally got it working. Well, then you just might be the answer to my prayers. So what are you waiting for? But you, you put us on the goddamn grid? Looks like Ohio, maybe, reconnected, or Pennsylvania. Yeah. Fabricate equipment. Okay. City confirmed. Hmm. It's really happening. <laughs> Just like Amelie promised. We can finally do what we came here to do. Hey, you're headed west, right? Gonna be a lot of people happy to see you. Guess you'll keep on till you hit the coast, huh? Which means you'll get to see Amelie in person. Oh, that's something. That is really something. I... Me, I've never met her. Only seen her hollow messages back when I was with the first expedition. Well, anyway. You best be careful on the road. There's some bad people out there. More than good, some say. <laughs> but I don't need to tell you that. Thank you, Sam. By bringing that way station into the Cairo network, you've put it in direct contact with those of us back here in Capital Knot City. Right. What's next? West of the way station are a couple of structures our previous expedition put in place. And beyond them is your next destination, Wardnot City. 
It's on the shore of a crater lake that formed after the first void out. Your objective is to link up Port and Capital Knot. But to do that, you'll need to utilize our facilities as additional waypoints. They'll be essential for establishing a stable connection. Given the distance we need to cover, we're looking at using a distribution center and a power station. As to which you should head for first. Start with the distro center. We've got some cargo that needs delivering anyway. Check the nearby delivery terminal to pick it up. Okay. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Wow. Oh, happy girl. So you got a brush. Your hard work's paying off, Sam. Thanks to the increase in network capacity, HQ is now in a position to provide you with additional materials and support. Ah. Should prove useful. Uh, make delivery. Deliver lost cargo. Ooh, look at all the lost cargo I got. How do you select all? Yeah, right. Like the fuck? Likes earned. I earned 264 likes for that. Ooh, I got a trophy. You have reached miscellaneous grade 10. Place items into and remove from share locker. Fabricate. Okay. Sam, you can use that PCC to build a post box. Oh, so anytime you have too much shit to carry, and you mm. just go like, fuck it, you can just build a post box. No. Oh. You can store shit. Nice. PCBs can be used to build structures, but be aware that doing so will use up critical or chiral bandwidth available to you. Structures can be shared with other players once built. Network structures cannot be built within the area around existing facilities marked as sensor poles. Okay. Post boxes can be used to return lost cargo or entrust cargo for delivery by others. The share locker function can be used to exchange weapons and equipment with other players. The private locker function can be used to temporarily store personal cargo and equipment. Cool, I wonder if I store it in a post box and then go to the capital city and access my post box, will I have access to it th through the network or do I have to go to that particular post office? Right. How much money do I have to spend? Uh, oh, you spend likes or? Tools and new. PC, PCC. A.
Oh, it's a printer. Yeah, the PCC is the printer. Okay. You can also build time shelters with it. Oh, that's handy. Uh, how many should I get? Oh, I see. It's taking materials down there. I'll grab three of them, I guess. Sure. Climbing anchors. I'll grab uh, two of those. And I'll grab three of those. Wait, what's that? Oh, okay. Private locker can be used to store cargo and the like. However, if you wish to reclaim them, you will have to do so from the specific terminal you stored them in. can also be used to share gear and weapons, if you're so inclined. Now, I'm sure you've used them before, but humor me and build one. Maybe between Capital Knot and that way station. If you're lacking a PCC, I'm afraid you'll just have to scrounge it up yourself. Okay. You'll be delivering supplies for a Cairo printer. The distro center you're going to has one. First expedition set it up. On its own, it's no different from your run-of-the-mill 3D printer. Connected, though, it can utilize Cairo network data to reproduce all kinds of things. And you can imagine how handy that might be. Now, I know I don't need to tell you, but steer clear of any BTs you find out there. Avoid outs the last thing we need. Sam, it's Hartman. Void outs occur when the living of our world come into contact with beached things. The reaction is similar to what a physicist would call an annihilation, when a subatomic particle collides with its antiparticle. Alas, there ends our understanding. Why do the dead transform into BTs? Why are void outs only triggered by human contact? 
And why are people like you able to return, seeing unscathed? No one knows. Yet it cannot be a coincidence that these phenomena were observed only after we discovered the beach and bridged this world and the next. Anyway, to reiterate, the only reliable means by which you can prevent a void out is to stay far, far away from BTs. Okay. Box, you'll need to use a PCC. It goes without saying, but if you're not already carrying a PCC, you'll want to fabricate one. I already fabricated equipment, thanks. What is this? Build a post box, you'll need to use a PCC. It goes without saying, but if you're not already carrying a PCC, you'll want to fabricate one. Cool. Uh. Head out, sure, okay. I got a lot of shit. Order a sign. Sam, assuming you've got your PCC in order, head to the site I designated and build that post box, would you? You should have no trouble finding it if you check your map and compass from time to time. Mm -hmm. Destination postal construction site. Watchtower.
restrictions lifted. Right, I'm not gonna go too far out of my way for this shit anymore. I'm already carrying a lot. What's up, man? I don't... Uh, okay, I'll just pull my mic. Microphone is back. Sorry about that. Looks like somebody put a ladder here I can use. So why not use it? This one's for you. Yeah, the controller's pretty awesome. It does, yeah. Is that where we're going, or is that where we're going? Uh, I got a custom marker. Oh, that's, no, that's where we're going. Okay, sure. Get a 3D print. <laughs> G 
Okay. Good work, Sam. That's a fine compost box. If you access it and select share locker, you can share cargo and equipment with your fellow porters. Deposit a ladder and a climbing anchor, and I'm sure someone will eventually come along who could use it. If you've got enough supplies, why not leave some behind? Be right by others, they'll be right by you. I guess. Um, uh, share locker, place item. Sam. You can use share lockers to exchange cargo with other porters. Upgrade structure, pair structure, seven eight structure. Storage capacity boosted. Uh, okay, make a delivery share locker. Claim cargo. Share locker's empty. Alright, so what do we got? We got five level one climbing anchors. Or is that saying how much? Ladder, PCB. Oh no. Alright, I'll get I'll get my climbing. I'll get my climbing anchor and a ladder. That's the weight. Five. I don't know what the little symbol means. Like, it's got S and the little three things. I don't know what those mean. Damage. It's something to do with weight. Maybe it's where I'm carrying it, I think. I think it's where I'm carrying it. Oh, to move. Oh, you can move it. Okay, that's what that means. You can select multiple and move it. Yeah. I have a ladder, a PCB, a PCB. Resin. And then I have a ladder here. And boots. So I got two ladders, I guess.
That's my goal now. Sign on. Wait, what is that? Online sign. I don't know what that means. I'm keeping on. Means. Oh, somebody put a time shift shelter there. Also a package over here. Thanks for the help. Uh, no. 
know. I'm trying to see if I can build a structure up here. Maybe. Where it's blue. Cargo on pack. Okay. How do I do that? No. Anyone? Anyone? Hmm. Anyone? Uh, open menu. Cargo. Uh, rare material? Is that the thing? Lost cargo, backup fuel. Oh no, that's it. Yeah. So let me grab that and huh. how do you drop it? Oh wait, huh? Select multiple hit X. Carry by hand. Confirm. Cool, now can I build a... Now I can. Just do this. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in there for somebody else to deliver. Construction complete. Grab the other one. I'll do the same thing. I'm coming.
Cool. Brain scanner. Yeah, I know. What is that thing? My blood level or something. It's just yeah, I think that's my blood level. Heads up, Sam. Your cargo's been pinged. Move now, or someone has eyes on you. Get to your destination ASAP if you don't want to get caught. Okay. Okay, I, I didn't know they didn't show up on my scanner or anything. Sam, don't get too close to mule territory unless you have to. Focus on your deliveries for now. What is that? Upside down rainbow time. You just gave you trouble, huh? Good thing it was raining. Even they know better than to mess with BTs. There was a time shelter nearby or something. Yeah, right across there. It says destroyed. I can't use it, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Now they're destroyed. I think they're destroying them. Yeah. 
Yeah, they are. I wonder if you can repair it. Might check out this one just because it's on the way. Oh, it's another yellow thing though. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. Shit. Go left. Oh no, there's one there. Should I cross the water? I don't know if there are any across. Yeah, you're right. Do I got? I got a couple. Going for it. 154. No, I'm good. That's good. I guess all I can build their post box right now.
Egg, I think post, looks like post box is all I got on this menu. Yeah. Uh. Alright, so. I don't think I have it. Shit. Should I cross over that one? the BTs on that side. Uh-oh. Yeah, I feel it. Wait, it's on the... Which side's the red? Is it my side the red side? This is the safe side? Oh, this just means this is on the network. I don't know if that keeps BTs away or... I don't think it does. I'm going across there. This is gravy. to do. Got to cross back. where I'm even supposed to be going, honey. Give me a second. Okay? I'm almost there. I need to go that way. Sure I can. I just need to sneak around him this way. Okay. This way, so <laughs> Try 
Can I hide under this rock? Nope. <laughs> I still have to worry about VT spinning around. Okay. Should I pick up those materials? Alright. Yeah. Get on flat ground. Uh, those materials are close. When the strain on your it's not raining anymore. I can agree on it. triggers the production of harmful compounds, and the body, in essence, begins to attack itself. It's called autotoxemia. If your BB's not performing to spec, drop by your private room and see if the incubator helps. Oh, let me check the river. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. <laughs> Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Okay, <gasps> I don't think I lost anything. Did I? That's fine. It wasn't totally full before. Nah. Uh, yeah, my shoes. Nah, I don't know. Oh, that's BB. That's my BB gauge. The BB's not happy. Motorcycle over here, I think. <sighs> I think somebody left it for me. Use vehicle. Clear. All weapons will remain locked. 
off until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. Decontaminating suit. Rest is advised. Alright, here we go. Make delivery. Deliver lost cargo. Unusable. You make it, man. Talk about above and beyond. <laughs> Thanks. Must have had to oh, really? pass through BT territory to get here, too, didn't you? <laughs> they weren't joking when they said you were a legend. Your floaty USB keys. into the UCA. New interview data required mules and drones syndrome. Okay. Ooh. Oh, well, that's cool. When we when we bring a new area online with the Cairo network, we can see all the things that people have marked or equipment they've left in the area for us to use so when we plan our route we can uh, take advantage of it looks like we're on the chiral network and with those materials you brought for our chiral printer we can produce supplies for you here as needed think of it as our way of returning the favor now head west and keep on doing what you do Good. The distro center is on the network. Sam, do me a favor. Take your BP to a private room and connect it to the incubator. Good work. Using private rooms. Private rooms can be activated via delivery terminals at any facility connected to the chiral network. Simply select rest to enter a private room. Psycho cargo to produce new materials. <laughs> so 
So I have resin. Materials and resin. So I was picking up materials. Is that what I'm carrying? Medium-sized batch of various materials to use within chiral printer. Recycling materials at facilities allows them to be used for fabricating equipment. Okay. Okay, so it's just like a cache of materials. How do we get these chiral crystals? That's why I need to look that up, I guess. Because we've seen them all around the map, but we don't have the tool to get them. Uh, private locker, fabricate equipment. Maybe they have some new equipment we can fabricate. Unable to fabricate chiral printer. Not detected. Okay, I thought they said they could fabricate stuff for me. But I guess, uh, Thank you for your contribution. My poor BB's offline. This is caution. Connected to that incubator. Yeah, the baby, it's a boy, honey. Do you want me to pause it? Yeah, I can pause. Check that out, stream. Haha. <laughs> okay. My wife is making cookies. <laughs> Little baby. He's upside down. Good. Uh, a temporary excess of stress. Easily addressed if we return it to its mother's womb. What? Mother? Uh, located in the capital not city, ICU. Brain dead, of course. Ah, uh, you mean still mother? Correct. A still mother's womb facilitates a connection between the world of the dead and the BB. And you, in turn, Connect yourself to a BB, granting you the ability to sense BTs. Weird. Whoever These came up with that. These pods were designed to simulate the conditions inside a still mother's womb. BBs need to believe they're in one at all times to function properly. However, we can only maintain this deception for so long, which is why we must periodically update the environmental data by synchronizing it with a still mother via the chiral network. There. The update is in progress. Right now the pod is synchronizing with the still mother in Capital Knot City and reconfiguring its settings based on the latest data. Returning your BB to the womb in this manner will temporarily reduce its stress levels. That being where it technically belongs, of course. Kid looks happy. I'll try adjusting the oxytocin dosage. Autotoxemia should set in much slower from now on. 
should remember that BBs are just equipment. Try not to get attached. Each one has been physically removed from its steel mother's womb. A process that renders them unpredictable and prone to failure. No BB on record has remained in service for over a year. Uh, it may need to be retired before this expedition is over. And then... You saying there's no way to keep my BB alive? Uh, you must understand. There is still a great deal we don't know about BBs. As we expand the chiral network and recover more past data, perhaps we'll find our answers. Uh, oh, hmm. right. You asked me to look into why the BTs might be reacting to your blood. I spoke with Hartman. We should have your results soon. Anyway, get some rest. You and your BB are both exhausted. <sighs> Good night, Sam. Cute little baby. Be able to sleep cuffed to a bed. <laughs> oh, he's dreaming. chained up still can't leave hmm. but if you can keep making connections if you can get to me we can go back east back home thank you I mean that <sighs> it's bad hmm. There are fewer and fewer people in the cities these days. No one's having children anymore. But humans aren't made for living alone. They're supposed to come together, to help one another. And if we as a people can't do that, if we can't reconnect, then, well, it's like Bridget said, extinction. Come on. Rebuilding America isn't going to get rid of the BTs. As long as they're still around, there's no escaping it. Hmm. But at least we'll have hope. I'll be waiting, Sam. Waiting for you. Come and find me. Don't forget. Here. Hello, Sam. This is Hartman. Since you're awake, it might behoove you to freshen up. To that end, why not take a shower? It's good for the body and soul, and also my research, as it happens. Yeah, yeah. Let me, let me have an energy drink first. I believe my stamina is low. Yep. 
pounding the monster energy drinks. What great advertisement for them. <laughs> I find it kind of weird they have like the same toys at every facility. Or maybe I bring those with me, I don't know. Oh yeah, that's a good point. They could just be holograms. I haven't figured out what good the sunglasses are for yet. Just to look cool, I guess. Man, he just pounds those down. Mm, I think one more I should be at full. Check on BB. <laughs> right. This is Hartman. They look Gentlemen tough here, the shower. Sure. And I oversee DC research. I'll be taking a sample of your shower water in order to study the effects your bodily fluids might have on the BT. Study other people with dooms? Everyone is riches, myself and Mark. Results thus far are inconclusive. But you possess other singular qualities, being a repatriate as well. I must confess to a measure of optimism. Processing fluids. Waste products. Dry relic. Dispensing. There. Take the sample with you. Should the opportunity arise, try using it on a BT. I'm curious to see how they react. Okay. They're gonna make Who me knows? a BT grenade. It may even prove beneficial to you. There was an old research paper detailing the effects of bodily fluids from individuals like us on BTs. Can we it is only by recovering these materials that we can unearth the knowledge of the past. Not just the Death Stranding, but also the mystery of your body's unique properties and even our doom's affliction. There may well be hope for humanity. Hmm. Sam, I have no interest in rebuilding America. I want to recover the past. Five, oh, four, it's almost three, time. Two, one. After you make your connections and nothing happens, then what? I said, then what? Okay. Sam. Sorry to bother you while you're taking a break, but I figured you'd want to hear this. Oh, maybe it'll help you rest easier. 
We received a number of messages addressed to you. I've not taken a look myself, but I gather they're mostly from your clients. You should see if they contain any useful information. Mail can be accessed via your cufflinks, as well as the terminal in your private room. There's something else I'd like to share with you. With the Cairo network, we now have the power to reclaim our past. Hmm. Data once thought lost forever from every corner of America can be pieced back together from fragmented records. Our archives are still a work in progress, of course. But as we expand the network and integrate more way stations and cities, we'll be able to recover more and more information, such as the previous expedition's logs and reports. Everything they sent back was lost when Central Knot City was destroyed. Now, we've managed to restore some already, in fact. You can access them from a private room terminal or your cufflinks by selecting Archives. Might make for interesting reading. Sorry, Sam, bad news. Benjamin, Aaron. thanks for delivering their raw materials. Everyone in the distress center is really happy. I'm afraid that we got some bad news, though. The bike you saw outside, its battery is dead. Uh, you'll have to give it some juice if you want to use it. Only need to do it once, though. Auto charger should kick in. So if you... Or if we got your hopes up... Oh, sorry, we got your hopes up. And uh, I got some more bad news for you too. Uh, you see, different facilities have to work together, sharing materials, so everybody gets what they need, and make sure everything pr produced gets put to its proper use. <laughs> uh, that's what guys like you are so important. Without porters, the whole system would fall apart. Okay. Anyway. There's this guy, George Vuitton, over at the way station. He used to be a reliable porter, but lately he's, like, pulling teeth to get him to make the simplest of deliveries. Keep bitching about being scared and not having enough oxy or whatever. Always some excuse. Even when he does agree to make a run, he'll liably lose half his stuff on the route. So, yeah. That's why... You're a bit short of materials at the moment. I'm sure you'll s you'll soon help us make that right. We're counting on you, Sam. Okay. George Baton. Okay. So this is the guy they were talking about. Sam, our savior. So the oxy we got, it sounds like it was for him. Things are looking up here at the way station. Everything looks better somehow. We all eyed. You're all bright eyed and bushy tailed. Man, it's hard to read from over here. Uh, isolation changes. Put safe outside. They use a lot of emojis. Weird. Uh, I know you're thinking first. It's just for the Oxycontin, too, but that's. Uh, anyhow. Glimmer of hope. Okay. We might we might be making this guy better. Still scary stuff out there. All the oxy in the world can't help us deal with mules. Those are those uh, people we ran into, or almost ran into. Luckily we hid, and then the rain started. 
That's why we need you, Sam. Alright, cool. Yes, we've been streaming for two and a half hours about. Yeah. Yeah, we, we made some good deliveries. We made it to uh, another area or two. So we're connecting the network slowly but surely. Sam, we've Kick received a orders. distress call from the distro center staff. Check the order on the delivery terminal as soon as you're ready. Let's see, we've been to the bathroom. Okay, equipment rack's empty. Apparently there's no additional equipment here. Alright, yeah, I think we'll go to the terminal again here and save it. Save complete. And then we'll return to title and call it a stream, guys. This game's not really interested. I, it's it's weird because you think it'd be boring just like delivering stuff, but you have like these mules to worry about. You got these BTs to worry about. The rain. You got uh, other people who are playing, like leaving stuff to help you. You can leave stuff to help other people. I think you know that that seems to matter more than I thought it would because it seems to make a difference. Like I could already see people leaving ladders for me. How that's helped, and then. I try to leave ladders that in places that that might help other people once we're able to do more like create time shelters and and things like that too that might help um, we left some stuff in post box for other people to deliver or equipment for them to get so I really feel like it, it, it they were really smart about that because it makes you really feel like you're in this interconnected world of other porters who are trying to do the same thing that you're doing and you can sort of it sort of puts you in the mindset of what they might feel like in this game world like uh we're all just trying to work together to survive and and, and reconnect things and, and make things better so and while trying to understand what's going on with these bts and bbs and all this other crazy stuff so and it sounds like it's going to get even more interesting as we interface with these mules and whatever they're trying to do or accomplish um, so this game's got a lot to it and they said it really doesn't pick up till like halfway through so this isn't even the fun part yet this is yeah this is the lore drop part so it will be uh, it will be interesting to see uh, where this goes I may I may have to pick this up we'll have to see I, I think I can I play it some more tomorrow. Um, I think I have it till 9 p.m. Unless I want to rent it longer. So, we shall see, guys. Thank you all for stopping by. Thank you for any host. I know we got a follow earlier. I appreciate that very much. And see y'all later. <laughs>